going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's find some dudes, baby. Today, we've got 25 mods in testing. Some mods have been released. We gotta make that video after this one. Custom modding and Dennis Farms have teamed up to make a great John Deere pack. 82 Studio says that his TLX Winter Wolf is still waiting for testing. Blue Hog and Modding's got two mods waiting to be tested. Rawson Mods has resubmitted their JCB Teletruck. Universe Sims shows off their all-in-one carrier. UI Modding's got an onion harvest for Farm Sim 19. We're gonna talk about this. Papa Smurf has released their 8400 Windrow. Plus, FDR logging shows off the first screenshot from the new logging map. Let's check it out. In testing for PCs, we have the Amazon Cineus 3003 Super, Bakery, Beehive's Pallet Spawner, Gaze Puma, Plus Lexi and 8950-300, Crew Trailer HL4043, Nuit's Far M3640, New Chess and Trailer 16T, Duval's Dwarf Transport Box HD, Ermo Ghibli 300, Vent Cargo Pack, Vent Beacon, Jens BA 725D, John Deere 8R, John Deere 8R, Crappy KL 3080, not a John Deere 8R, Espresso 300, Lizard LZ45, Lizard Trailer Pack, Pitchfork, Scooter, Shovel Weights, Shovel with Grapple, Slurry Yard, and Straw and Hay Storage with Bell Trigger. All that being said, we still have 577 mods that are waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is 7 work days. Starting off today with something very exciting, the John Deere Pack from Custom Modding and Dennis Farms. This pack is going to be for all platforms and will include the 2018 models of the John Deere 7R, 8R, 8RT, H480 front lower, and the Lincota stock roller. Later down the road, they're going to be putting the Demco side west tanks in the game as well, but that's going to be a separate mod. However, those tanks will work with this whole pack. That's great news. Currently, the pack is done with modeling and features, and they're currently remapping and doing the textures with normal maps, decals, things like that, and then it's going to be ready for testing. Additionally, Dennis Farms has shown off a few screenshots on his end as well, saying that the 7R and 8R models will be available with 90 inch wheel spacing for those of you that need maximum windrow clearance or stability for loader work. This is going to be an amazing pack when it's completed. For those of you that have been waiting on the TLX Winter Roll for Farm Sim 19, it has been waiting on the testing list for the past week with Giants. As you saw from the testing list today, waiting time is now up to seven days. That's for Farm Sim 22 and 19 mods, so it could be another few days before we even see this mod on the testing list. Although it does appear the Giants are starting to move away from FS19 mod testing a little bit. So there's none on the testing list today. We're just gonna have to wait and see with this one, unfortunately. Either way, the TLX Winter Wolf will also be available for FS22 as well, and David is working on that right now. You can see him modding this and other things live over on his YouTube channel. He's going live today at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, so check that out if you want to. Blue Algen Modding is back with us today with some more Farming Simulator 22 mods for all platforms. The Massey Ferguson 8700S and the New Holland T7 LWB. Both have been sent off for testing, and I believe we actually saw the 8700S in testing yesterday, unless that was a different one. There are definitely a lot of modders fighting right now to get the best tractors on ModHub. Blue Organ Modding is one of the best when it comes to tractors like this. They have 24 different tractors and vehicles in Farm Sim 19, and I hope we see even more from them in 22. Rawson Mod says that his JCB Teletruck for FS22 is still on the way, do not worry. There was a small error that had to be corrected since we talked about it last week, but that's been fixed and resubmitted for testing. Additionally, their JCB 419S wheel loader should be ready for testing soon, so Stay tuned. Also on the testing list yesterday was the all-in-one transport, which Universe Sim have shown a few extra picks off on their group page. The bells loaded up, animals, and even a gator on the front of an 8RX. That's just crazy. This mod will be back soon and better than ever. EY Modding's up to something very interesting. Today, they're bringing their Onion Harvest mod over to Farm Sim 19, which I believe was a third-party mod before. They have submitted the mod pack for testing and will be trying to adapt it for FS22 as well. However, as you know, onions are not a base game crop. And they say that onion harvesting can only be done on the modded Ravenport map, which will be included in the pack. I'm not sure if anyone will want to play a base game map just for onions, especially a game that's not even the current flagship. Farm Sim 19's old now. I could be wrong, and maybe I'll be proven wrong, uh, but we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with this one. Not sure that's the right move. Papa Smurf has officially released the Rapid 8400 Windrow for FS22 players on PC. This was a super popular mod in Farm Sim 19, and probably my most used piece of equipment ever in a farming simulator game, so it's great to see it back. There's not a lot of color options on this version, which I'm sure to be updated later on, but that's an easy fix to do yourself in the XML if you want to. Otherwise, check out Papa Smurf's website to download this. Get your hands on it. Keep in mind, 
This mod is for PC only and not for consoles. And lastly today, here we get a new screenshot from FDR logging for their first map for Farm Sim 22. He says the new logging map is coming along very well and it's almost ready for testing. Once it's done, he's going to be putting the buncher and processor together. And this video is almost ready to end as well. Then I'll be doing the face cam thingy at the end with probably something very silly. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods and myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHand fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. That being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. So we are super close to Christmas. Less than 20 days. Oh, I'm so excited.